In Trump's first term, just as in his real estate career, the press was his play toy. It wasn't just Fox News. He manipulated the liberal press as well, including cable news, The Times, and The Post. They covered him on everything he said and gave him all the oxygen he wanted. It helped him win in 2016, then it helped him lie and escape accountability all through his first term and of course thereafter. You would think that with his 30,000 lies, the press would have learned how to deal with him by now. But they haven't. He knows he can call on them to cover his provocations anytime, anywhere. In fact, they have continued to give him more screen time and space than they give his opponents. They covered his attacks on Joe Biden's decline without hardly covering Trump's own decline. He continues to lie and insult Kamala Harris every day, and they are giving his outrageous remarks their full attention. Although Kamala is a popular and promising candidate and could save the country from Trump, if you look at the Times and Post you will see all kinds of negative coverage on her. I suppose they feel this is fair and balanced, but in the circumstances, it's really not. The net effect is that they seem to be favoring Trump. I guess they need to do this for their advertisers and bottom line. Columnists like David Brooks and Brett Stevens regularly attack Harris, perhaps not recognizing that in the process they are helping Trump win and destroy the country. They criticize Kamala's policies, even when Trump has no legitimate policies at all. This agenda is profoundly dangerous. I wish I could say they'll recognize this error sometime soon, but I don't think they will and we should all be very worried about it.